Now, on examination, um, there are no abnormal peripheral signs, in particular, no clubbing and no peripheral cyanosis, and there's no central cyanosis either. Put your tongue out. Thank you. His pulse is in uh, sinus rhythm, quite regular. The um, volume and character are also normal. So this is best checked at the carotid pulse. It feels quite normal. The jugular's venous pressure is, is not elevated. It can just be seen flicking at the base of the neck. It's slightly more visible when he breathes in. Now on palpation, there is a suggestion of some right ventricular hypertrophy. One can just feel the right ventricle is pushing up towards your fingers, though it's not a very obvious right ventricular heave. And also on palpation, one can feel a systolic thrill in the palmy area. The apex is in the normal position, not displaced, and the left ventricular impulse is also quite normal. Now, uh, on auscultation, we'll, feel in, we'll start in the palmy area. That's where we felt this historic thrill. And one, as expected, one can hear quite easily a palmary ejection systolic murmur. In addition, if you listen a bit more carefully, and concentrate on the second heart sound, you will hear that the second heart sound is split. And furthermore, this splitting is not widened by inspiration. Tauhe. It's very fixed with the respiratory cycle. And this is typical fixed splitting of the second heart sound. And as we move down, the palmary murmur fades away. And at the apex, there's no mitral murmurs to be heard.